Aloha everyone and welcome back to Aloha Jen's beauty blog. For those of you that are new here, hi, my name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician in the state of California. Well, welcome to what's in my trash. <laughs> so it's been forever since I have filmed an empties video and I mentioned in several videos back that I was going to get back on track with these. Now, um, you know, I've changed up my content quite a bit. Um, I consider myself more so of a tutorial, tutorial channel than a review channel because I'm doing what I love to do and that is to educate you and teach you and show you how to use your devices, show you how to use your skincare properly. And also, I, I love all things beauty. I have a beautiful makeup collection. I love hair care, I love hair tools, and I wanna get into more of these type of contents. If you watched my video that I uploaded on Friday, that was a full on get ready with me. And I do have long videos. And those of you who have been following me here for a while, you know that when I do these videos, it's just not just a routine. I drop knowledge bombs all the time. And I prefer to make this type of content versus me sitting down here getting all dolled up and just talking about a product on whether I love it or not. I prefer to show you these products in action and how I use them on my skin. And if you're following along, you can see the noticeable changes in my skin. Now, I am still trying to get adjusted to my camera here in my little studio, so sometimes the angle isn't right. That's why I prefer to film in my bathroom because everything's in my bathroom. It's easy for me to get and the lighting and the camera angle is just perfect. But for some reason, it's so hard for me to get the perfect angle here on in the studio. I don't know what it is. So I have a couple of updates for you. So um, if you watched the short that I uploaded on Friday and in my get ready with me video, you guys know that I picked up the new Lawless pinch my cheek soft blur cream blushes. Well, in the video on Friday, I um, tried on Rosebud, which is right here. And today, which is Saturday, I am wearing Angel and it's so pretty. So this is more of a warmer sort of mauve pink where the Rosebud is more of a cooler mauve pink so those are the two colors so today i am wearing angel and today i decided to wear my lawless um forget the filler line smoothing lip plumping <laughs> satin lipstick and i'm wearing the color little lazy da daisy with the pink slip lip liner so I've been using this product on my lips, which I will get to, and it's called Our Self Lip Filler. And it has brought back the shape of my lips to where with the Lawless uh, lip liners, I was kind of falling out of love with them. I love the colors, like Lawless does like pink nudes, perfect. Um, I love their lipstick and I love the color of their lip liners, but they're so creamy. I was having issues with them bleeding and not staying in my vermilion border. But since I've been using the R Self Lip Filler for almost 10 weeks now, it has completely restored my lips. And it wasn't Lawless's lip liner's fault. It was because I was losing the shape and the plumpness of my lips due to age. So I am so happy that I can wear these now and I'm falling back in love. So these are the two lip colors I'm wearing. So today I am wearing Little Lady Daisy. This is one of my favorite Lawless lipsticks. And this is with the Pink Slip Lip Liner. This is such a pretty lip liner. Now there is a liner that goes with the Little Lady Daisy uh, lipstick, but I love Pink Slip. Pink Slip is just so pretty. Now I am gonna up my ante with this and I'm going to apply the uh, Buxom Lip. This is the Lip Polish and this is in Golden Dolly. So I like this color as a topper for the lips and I'm just gonna apply this on top of here. And I love these Buxom 
um, lip glosses, the lip creams, and the lip polishes. They're like my new favorite lip plumping um, glosses. It's a cool, minty, refreshing sensation on the lips. It's not too strong. They look really pretty on the lips. They are slightly sticky, but however, it is a stiffer formula and it stays where you put it. But the other um, color that I picked up um, from the Lawless Pinch My Cheeks Cream blushes are is um, Starbur Starburst, which is sort of like a peach color. And this sort of reminds me of Angel from the powder Lawless um, blushes. I think they're called um, Make Me Velvet blushes or something. I have not tried this one yet but I will very, very soon. So to reference, if you watch the Get Ready With Me, I have the same eye look. The only thing that I changed out was my blush and my lips for Angel. So these are fabulous, a new favorite, and I highly recommend you check them up. They are like a cream to powder blush, but they still stay creamy, but it really does blur out your cheeks, and these are a matte finish so so pretty so what do I have here for you today so I have um, a lot of skincare I have some body care I have hair care and I have a little bit of makeup items not much so we'll go into body care first and then I'll go makeup and then skincare so I have exactly 30 minutes to film this video so I am going to try and keep it this video under 40 minutes because we're already 640 in so first for body care Please don't mind this, this is in my shower. I have the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. So this is by Naturium. This is my favorite body wash by Naturium. This body wash is very moisturizing on the skin and it's light. Um, I actually um, use this one and I use the Glycolic Acid Body Wash two times a week, so I rotate those out. So this is my favorite one, and then I love the glycolic. Now they just came out with several other body washes, mandelic and hyaluronic acid. So I definitely wanna pick up the mandelic one, I think it's called the Energizing Body Wash, to test out. Now they did just have a 20% off sale, and I missed it. <laughs> I was thinking about should I pick up something, but I did not take advantage of that, and I'm kicking myself for doing that. I have another Naturium body product here, and that is the Skin Renewing Retinol Body Lotion. So if you're looking for a retinol product for your body, this is so fabulous. This is one of the best retinol body lotions that I have ever tried. Now, it is pretty powerful, and I like to put this over their Biolipid Body Moisturizer or Body Lotion. Um, because when I put this on my skin alone, it's just kind of a little bit too much and it can cause some sensitivity. But I'll use this about two days a week, um, not very often because it is pretty strong, but it's also the most elegant formula out of the other ones that I've tried. It's really rich and creamy and it goes on so beautifully onto the skin. So if you're looking for a retinoid for your body, highly recommend this one. Now I will be stopping this since it is um, some we're approaching summer, the weather is getting nicer. And I'm gonna probably switch maybe to their glycolic body lotion. I haven't picked it up yet, but this one, um, I'm finished with it. I do have a backup bottle of this. I'm also, um, since I only use this two days a week, I'm not worried about it affecting my dermal fat cells in my body. But I'm actually kind of like maybe wondering if I will continue on with it because I want to keep my skin as healthy as possible and I'm using Adipo on my upper arms, the strong body gel. And I don't want to use anything that's going to interfere with Adipo working. So my um, two other body products that I have here, I have one more after this. So I have the Iota, and this is their Super Plant Body Serum. So Iota is an all-natural plant-based body care line. They have body washes, they have body serums, and then they have their Super Matcha Body Lotion. So they have since reformulated all of their body care and I haven't tried it, but I have some empties here. Um, I really love these products. Now they are a bit pricey, um, but they are very beautiful. The Super Matcha Body Lotion is very light. So if you're 
like a light body lotion in the summer, in the warmer months, I highly recommend this. It makes your skin look so pretty. And same thing with their body serum. Now the new one looks really, really good compared to this one, but these are beautiful products and I highly recommend them if you are, if they are within your budget. Now for me, I'll use those once in a while because they are very expensive for me for my body and the body is such a large area to cover that, you know, 40 bucks a month, well actually that would be $80 a month for body care is quite pricey where I prefer Naturium because it's affordable, it's highly effective, and my body skin loves it. Now, my last body product that I have here is from Lady Sweet. This is their Rejuvenating Botanical Oil. This is for the area down south to keep it nice and moisturized. <laughs> so Lady Sweet is no longer in business. They are unfortunately, um, they went out of business, which I'm so sad because I really love their um, products for taking care of the health of the skin in your um, area down south. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really sad what happened to them. So I am currently searching for new products in that area. I did buy some backups of their products um, before they went out of business. So I'm working through those and I'll be finished probably within the next month or so. So I need to find some new ones. All right. For makeup, I have a couple of items here. A couple are finishes and a couple are declutter. Declutter. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. As you can see, I tried this a couple of times. I didn't use it very much. And I was going to try it again, um, but the pump is like broken. <laughs> so this, everybody loves this setting spray. And for me, unfortunately, it was not a favorite. It was a complete fail. Um, it's highly fragrant and it leaves your skin like, I don't know, to me it felt like it was drying out my skin. It didn't do anything but keep my makeup in place. My favorite makeup setting spray is actually by Cali. Cali Ray. I think it's, I forget the name of it, but the Cali Ray makeup setting spray is really, really lovely. I even put it over my Color Science um, SPF. Uh, it's so beautiful. It's hydrating. It doesn't make your skin feel dry or tight, and it makes your makeup last all day long. And you can also use it to refresh and hydrate your skin. Love, love. I think it's called Surf and Set. Surf setting spray something like that surf and set setting spray i think that's what it's called so i have two declutters here and these are eyeliners so this first one is by charlotte tilbury i forgot what this is called this is the super nudes and one end is a peachy nude brightening liner and then the other one is a dark brown so um these were this was a complete miss for me um, I picked this up. I've had this, I think, for over two years. Um, it's time to go. I never really picked it up that much because I just found that this was really hard and I tugged on my eyes a lot with this. So I stopped using it. So now it is going bye-bye. My next one here is, this is the Fit Glow um, Brightening Beige um, Eyeliner. So I love this Brightening Beige Eyeliner. I use it in my waterline once in a while. However, I've had this since it was released. It is old now, so I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm um, starting to steer away from using eyeliners in my water lines, um, like for tight lining or just to, to brighten my inner rim of my water line on my lower lash because I suffer from dry eyes and my eye doctor told me that you should not be wearing any eyeliner in your waterline if you suffer from dry eyes because it can clog your, um, we have like a little pinhole right in our um, lower lash line and this can clog your tear ducts. So I am not gonna be putting any eyeliner in my waterline anymore. So next we have the Nourish and Set Brow Gel by Plume Science. Now I love Plume Science products and they're based in Canada and they do have a distribution here in the US. This is their brow gel. I love it. This is an ashy daybreak, which is my perfect color. Now, I bought a bunch of their products because they had a sale and I wanted to sh save on shipping because their shipping is pretty pricey. So um, I used this until it was done, but the thing with 
um, this is it went it went um, bad on me in the sense to where it dried out really really quickly. So I have um, set this aside and I decided I'm not going to purchase any more of their brow products, even though I love them and I like to purchase multiples at the same time. But what I notice, like if you don't use their brow products within three months, even if you buy backups, they go bad pretty fast. So I stopped using them, which is such a bummer because they are my favorite brow products and I have since replaced it with Kosas. So here is the Swede uh, Pro Eyelash Serum. This is the bigger size. So Swede sent this to me to test and um, to see if I like it. And I actually really like this lash serum. It is a phenomenal lash serum. So this really started working for me within the first week I started using it and made my lashes get really long and curly. <laughs> so since I have curly hair, I, when my lashes get really long, when I use lash serums that um, are meant to um, not just enhance your natural lashes, but to grow for length and fullness, they make my lashes get curly. So I did use this until it was done and I stopped using it. It's been three weeks now. And if I didn't have curly eyelashes, I would continue on with this because I really loved it. It's proglastin, proglastinin, I think it is. I can't say it. I have a hard time saying it. Proglastinin, I think it is. Free, but it works beautifully. So if you're looking for a really good lash serum, I highly recommend checking this one out. I really, really loved it. And then I have an empty here of my favorite mascara, which is the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water. I'm wearing it today. This is a tubing mascara. It's fabulous. Fabulous. It lifts and curls my lashes, gives me the perfect amount of volume and length, and it's buildable. Love, love, love. You guys have heard me talk about this a lot. Now we're going to go into hair care. Whoops. So I have a lot of virtue products here. So I, about three weeks ago, I switched over pretty much all of, well, all of my hair care right now for the last three weeks has been nothing but um, Color Wow. I'm testing the whole line to see how it works on my hair. And I have the Curl Wow in my hair today. I did, I did wash my hair yesterday. Today I just refreshed my curls and my curls just look so beautiful. I just love Color Wow hair products. <laughs> I, I recommend that you search, um, there's a channel on here, his name is Richard Rose. He has a couple of videos and um, of them doing professional trainings with salons. They tell you exactly how to use the products and if you watch those videos, it will teach you how to use the products from um, Color Wow because when I first started using them a few years ago, I didn't like them for my hair because I wasn't using them properly. Now that I know how to use them, I'm loving everything pretty much. Pretty much everything I've tried so far, I'm loving. I will say except for probably the Dream Coat for curls and the Dream Coat Supernatural Spray, the regular formula. I'm not so sure if I really like that, but I have to try their extra strength dream coat. So, but I'm in the process of testing that line. So I used Virtue for almost three years on my hair. I tried Virtue, I fell in love with it. Um, and I tried pretty much everything in their line too. And I still have a lot of products from them that I'm probably going to give away. Um, so I'm probably going to list that somewhere to see if any of you would like them. Some of them are slightly used, but you might like them. So here are some of my favorites from Virtue. One, I love their volumizing mist. I love the scent of this. I love the volume that this gives my hair. I just love this mousse. So this is my favorite mousse from Virtue. Love, love, love. Um... I am testing Color Wow, so I don't know if this is going to be a repurchase for me in the future, but I do love it. Next, so my shampoo and conditioner that I used on a regular basis after I was done testing um, Virtue, I switched over to their Flourish shampoo and conditioner because I was suffering from hair loss because I got the 
the vid <laughs> and my hair started falling out. So these really saved my hair and I just continued on with using them because I really liked what they did for my hair. And then when I would smooth out my hair, sometimes I would switch and use the smoothing formula or sometimes switch and use the curly um, formula. So with my experience with their shampoos, this is my favorite because I can go longer between shampoos with these. With the curly shampoo, it just, they changed the formula and I noticed it just stopped working for my hair and it seemed to dry out my hair, so I stopped using it. This actually gave me better curls than the curl shampoo after a little bit. With their smoothing shampoo, I love it and it really helps my hair um, smooth out very nicely. But on day two, I would have a very oily scalp. And what I've learned from watching these videos from Color Wow is that shampoos that are, you know, um, made to thicken or smooth out your hair, they contain ingredients that leave a film behind on your hair and scalp and will cause your hair to get really oily and dirty faster. And then you're gonna be reaching for that dry shampoo more often. So these I love from Virtue, they work. My husband is currently working through another bottle of the shampoo. He loves the shampoo. He doesn't use conditioner on his hair, um, but I'm going to probably switch him out to the Color Wow Color Security Shampoo and see how he likes it because it's definitely more affordable than the Virtue. Virtue is an expensive hair care line because they have that proprietary, what is it? Their Alpha Keratin 60KU and everything is expensive from this line. <laughs> the shampoo is highly concentrated though, but if he likes the color wow, it's more cost affordable and it's supposed to also help with hair loss too because it just focuses on getting your scalp really clean. So I'm gonna switch him over to that. So that's um, my shampoo and conditioner. Now I have two um, uh, hair mask from Virtue. I have the Flourish, which I really love. This is a nice um, light hair mask. You're supposed to use it around two times a week. And I really like this great product. My complaint with the Flourish line is I don't like the fragrance. I think it smells like patchouli or something like that. I don't know. I just don't, I just didn't really care for this fragrance, but I really loved what it did for my hair. And I do still have their Boost um, Scalp Spray. That's their hair growth spray. I haven't used that for a very long time and I have a backup bottle of that. So I'll probably be giving that away too. And then I have their Restorative Treatment Mask. So this is a great hair mask too. This really makes your hair look really shiny, soft and silky. It really does repair the damage in your hair. I really love this. It's $70, their hair masks are $70. This has that same fragrance as the healing oil. I love that fragrance from Virtue, it's my favorite. And I love the fragrance of their full shampoo and conditioner, which matches the, um, the styling mousse here, love that. Now I have their um, Curl Leave-In Butter. So this is what I used to style my hair when I wore it curly when I was using Virtue. And I really liked this product because it gave me my best curls. It's a heavier product. It's more like a, like a thick cream. And I really loved the way Evade by Curls look. But the only thing is the next day when I wake up, my hair would look like a nest because it didn't really hold the shape of my curls and it wasn't very good to refresh your curls with this. I love the fragrance of the curl line too. So this was my favorite curl product from them. And uh, yeah, I won't repurchase this after using the Color Wow curl um, line. And I have another, I have two more products from Virtue and then I have a couple other hair products here. So I have the Virtue, this is the Refresh Purifying Leave-In Conditioner. This was my favorite leave-in conditioner. I love this for my hair. They have since discontinued it and I loved it. And then I went searching for a new leave-in conditioner and I wasn't happy with anything until I found Money Mist. I love Money Mist. I love, love, love. <laughs> so, but this one is really good. I'm really sad that they discontinued it. 
Um, this is also pretty pricey. It's five ounces and I think it's like $35. And that was my one complaint about this is I would go through this a lot because I use it through every shampoo. Sometimes I would spray this in my hair when I wore it curly just to kind of give my curls a little refresh. Now, this is a beautiful product from Virtue. This is their Recovery Damage Reverse Serum. This is a brand new product from them. This is a leave-in treatment. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, not skipping your conditioner. You don't have to worry about leaving this in your hair for four, 10 minutes before you style. You just put this on your um, freshly cleansed, towel-dried hair and you brush it through and then you follow through with the rest of your style products. This really, whoops, this really works at um, healing the damage in your hair. Um, I do have another bottle of this because uh, I bought two, but this is my empty one, but I really, really love this. And this will probably be a repurchase for me in the future, just so you know. Now I have my bond repair treatment here, which this is from a prey. So I have, these come in refills of two vials that you empty this vial in their um, special uh, spray bottle that you get with your starter package and then you add water to it and you spray this in your hair before you're going to shampoo, let it saturate for 10 minutes or longer and then you just wash your hair like normal. I love this bond repair treatment. Um, I have a backup of this. Now I haven't used this I would say probably for almost, it's been a month since I used this because I was testing the damage reverse serum to see how well it would um, repair the damage in my hair and it worked beautifully. I wanted to test it without any bond repair. And then I used this once and then I switched over to the color wow and i am using a couple of their products to see how they help with damaged hair since i um, bleach my hair because i get blonde highlights and we don't use hair color for my highlights we actually use bleach so a prey is my favorite bond repair now they just came out with the shampoo and conditioner i did try it and it's also very very lovely it has minimal ingredients and they use vanilla in the fragrance, and it's a very, very light hint of vanilla. It's barely even noticeable. So if you are someone who is looking for a nice, um, clean, simple shampoo and conditioner that's not heavily fragranced, their shampoo is pretty good too. So I'll go back to trying that again. Um, so I have a couple products from Olaplex here. So I have their Olaplex Number no. 6 Bond Smoother Styling Cream. I have their number nine bond protector nourishing hair serum. So um, when I, I was starting to notice some changes in my hair when I wore it curly from the Virtue Leave-In Curl Butter, just didn't seem like it was working with my hair like how it used to. So I switched back to my Olaplex styling products and I was falling in love with these and I also used these to smooth out my hair too. So these are great. The hair serum I use as kind of like my sort of leave-in conditioner. I'll run this through my hair um, right after I take it out of the towel, brush it through, and then I usually mix um, the number six with a couple drops of their, um, what is it, their number seven bond repair oil, which I love that combo for wearing my hair curly and wearing it um, smooth or straight. However, I love my, well, for wearing my hair curly, I love my curl wow. Now for smoothing out my hair, I'm still trying to find my perfect combination um, from color wow. And I will keep you posted on whether I will go back to these or not. But um, usually when I do the Olaplex collating treatment, I like to use all Olaplex styling products in my hair. Um, so I don't know if I'll be doing that anymore because like I said, I'm testing Color Wow and they have a product that removes the minerals and heavy metals from the hair. Um, so I've heard different stories about it removing the metals. Color Wow says it does, so I'm going to go with what they say. <laughs> so I, I don't know if I'll go back to the Olaplex collating treatment. 
because I really like the ease of use of the Dream Filter from Color Wow. So this is the Olaplex Number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I use this for when I do the cleaning treatments, my purple shampoo from Olaplex, or my clarifying shampoo. I love this. Since I have curly hair, this is like the perfect um, everyday conditioner for my hair versus um, the Olaplex Number no. 5 uh, Ma bond maintenance conditioner, their daily conditioner. So um, this one, um, well, if Color Wow is wowing me, then it won't be a repurchase. <laughs> okay, so now let's get into a skincare. So I have hopefully 10 minutes left. I hope I can get through all this. Okay, so, um, which I should because a lot of these products you guys already know and you've heard, you've watched me apply them multiple times. And uh, yeah, okay, so I have two empties of Adipo here. You guys all know how much I love Adipo. So I use Adipo pretty much like five or six days a week every day, first thing in the morning. Um, so these are two face creams and I just um, started using their strong body gel on my neck and my chest and my upper arms. I love the strong body gel. It's making my neck look so good. Like the skin here is looking tighter and firmer. It's also, I don't have those vertical lines right in through here as much as what I um, used to and it's not looking creepy. So mwah, chef's kiss, love, love, love. So I have two Isden um, Age Contour Night Creams. So the Isden Age Contour Night Creams and their Day Cream are my favorite moisturizers. As you can see, I'm on my third one of the night cream right now. And I'm on my second of the day cream. For some reason, I use more of the night cream versus the day cream, but I love these moisturizers. They are my favorite. And I just can't break away from them. That's how much I love them. I love what they do for my skin. These help with firming and tightening. They also help with glycation. So if you are someone who is out in the sun a lot, you know, back in the day, you have glycated skin, sun damage. Mm, these are fabulous. Love, love, love. All right, so I have a Michelle um, Corley Pore Cleansing Oil here. So I just finished this up actually on Friday, <laughs> or not Friday, um, Thursday. So I have a backup bottle of this, and I love the Michelle Corley Pore Cleansing Oil. I love their Calming Cleansing Oil. These are emulsifying cleansing oils. This is a simple formula that isn't fragrance. Um, if you have large pores, if you have oily skin, highly recommend this. If you have sensitive dry skin, I recommend their calming um, cleansing oil, which emulsifies and the calming has a slight fragrance of cucumber, which I'm almost finishing that one up. Um, as you guys know, I love the Isden Essential Cleanser as well, which is another emulsifying um, cleansing oil. See, I have a Neogenesis Moisturizing Mist here. So I like to use this with the Dermadis treatment. I'll spray this when I feel like I need some extra hydration and repair because it has their patented, um, what is it, SRM2 in it. So there is human conditioned media in here, but not that much. So I love this. Um, I do have a backup bottle of this as well. My husband loves this too. This is like, he doesn't like to use moisturizer. He loves this. <laughs> so he uses that a lot. Let's see, I have a Photozyme DNA Youth Recovery um, Serum here. So this is for DNA repair. It has DNA um, repair enzymes in it that help with sun damage, um, actinic keratosis, um, fine lines and wrinkles, helps you know firm the skin, just repairs that damaged DNA, especially from sun damaged skin. So I um, have about this much left on my second bottle and I switched this out for, now I'm testing the new Osmosis MD um, Catalyst formulation. That is a DNA repair serum. And this is a DNA, this is has DNA repair enzymes in it where Catalyst, Catalyst doesn't. And I have to say, I really like this, but I am loving my Catalyst MD from Osmosis way more than this. I just really love what that's doing for my skin more. And it has more benefits because the Catalyst MD helps with broken capillaries. 
Um, it's very um, nutrient dense for your skin. And it also has vitamin C in it. So I eliminated my vitamin C because I'm using the Catalyst MD from Osmosis. So here is my Isden. This is the Flavo C. I loved this vitamin C. It was really good. My only complaint with this is that the formula is a little bit stiff and not that easy to blend into the skin, but a little bit goes a long way. You have to really work it into the skin, but it lasts a long time. So it's pretty good for um, cost wise, because this lasted me for at least three months, maybe a little bit longer, I think. I can't remember. So um, I do have a little bit of this left because when I switch over to my, um, sometimes when I'm introducing a new product, I like to do it to where I have at least maybe a week left of my serums or my moisturizer, just in case I have a reaction. But I did finish these out. So these are done. And um, they may be a, a, a repurchase in the future, but as of right now, I am not going to repurchase them because I'm really loving the Osmosis MD Catalyst formula. So this is a um, moisturizer. This is the Revision DEJ Face Cream. It's an advanced all-in-one age-defying moisturizer. I got this as a deluxe um, trial size in a Skin Beautiful RX order. Um, it's a nice cream, but it wasn't my favorite. I didn't really notice anything um, with this with my skin, and it definitely won't be a repurchase for me. Um, I do, however, love the Revision DEJ Eye Cream. I love this eye cream. Um, I'm using it still now. I repurchased it. I just really love what this does for my eyes. It gives me like the perfect amount of moisture around my eyes. And this is supposed to help, you know, firm the eyelids. With using this by, by itself, I didn't really notice much of the firming. I just really noticed that it kept my eyes um, looking less crepey and then also kept the moisture in there um, without traveling into my eyes. And you could put this 360 around your eyes, including your eyelid. Um, so I just really love this um, eye cream. So I repurchased it. Eye cream is so tough. And it's also kind of personal because everybody likes different things. So here is the Victoria Deanne um, Pepti Eye Serum. So I have another one of these. And I do like this eye serum. I think it's a beautiful eye serum. It's one of my favorites. I actually prefer it over the Neogenesis Eye Serum. <laughs> so this helps with... Um, dark circles, puffy eyes, fine lines and wrinkles, and it does you know, help firm the eye area a bit, but it's more targeted towards fine lines and wrinkles, and it does a beautiful job. Has a very light fragrance of uh, tea, because there is white tea in here, so you get that tea fragrance, but really love it. It has a rollerball app applicator that feels really nice around the eyes when you are puffy, but I never really use this. I don't like applicators like this or like this for my eye cream because I just put it on with my finger. I prefer it that way because sometimes with the applicators like this, I kind of feel like you use too much. All right, so next I have another eye product here. So this is the Color Science Total Eye 3-in-1 Renewal Therapy SPF 35 for the eyes. So I use this as my concealer and for sun protection around my eyes. I have it on today with my Color Science Flex and Medium. This is what I'll be living in in the summer, my summer foundation and concealer. I'll probably be using this every day. <laughs> and I'll, I probably won't be using much foundation. So I was thinking about getting a darker shade of the Lady or the House Labs foundation since I love that one so much. But in reality, I probably won't be using it that much because I'll be living in this so I can keep my skin protected. And usually when I leave the house in the evening, the UV index is still pretty high. So I just rather just invest in this. Now, um, I hear dermatology has a dupe for this. I haven't tried it. I do have one of these that I'm using now and I have a backup of it. Um, maybe eventually I'll try the dermatology, but I was just kind of wondering if maybe it looks like the ingredients are almost identical just the colors might be slightly different. So I'm kind of wondering if it's a white label for dermatology. And I kind of wonder that with dermatology, if some of their products are white label. All right, 
So I have here the Diminuage. I have a set of the booster chips. This is for nano infusion or micro channeling, nano channeling the skin. Um, so Diminuage is a nano channeling pen and these are the silicone nano chips that you use with it. This is the um, mid, so it goes, there's a daily, there's the booster. You use these about one or two times a week. And then they have two other um, booster chips that are slightly more aggressive than this one. I love the Diminuage. It's affordable. It's one of the best um, nano channeling pens out there. However, I'm not so sure how this company is doing, but I usually get my refills on Amazon. Um, I hope that they stick around because I really love this. And I love that they come with different tips um, for your, your skin needs. Now we have my Arcelf, um lip filler here. So this is my initial kit. Um, so I have, <clears throat> this is what I um, got. It came with the pen and it came with um, two. One was loaded in the pen and then there's the extra one. So these lasted me nine weeks and I'm currently on my um, first refill that I purchased. Um, and I'm going to see how long that lasts last. So the first one, I believe lasted me three weeks. And then the second refill lasted me nine, um, six weeks. The reason behind why there's such a big difference is because you have to do a five day jump start with this and, um, you apply it for five days, twice a day, five times in a row. <laughs> so you use quite a bit of this. So we'll see how long the second, um, my refill set last. Now I've been using the, this for 10 weeks and I am noticing a difference in my lips, but in two weeks I'll do my um, results for 12 weeks. And I decided to um, prolong that video because at first I wasn't really noticing much plumping, but I've noticed that it's really restored the shape of my lips, the color, and there is some, you know, mild plumping there, but however, not as my lips don't look as plump as what they did when I did that initial five day jump start. So I wanted to give it 12 full weeks to see if we'll see any more plumping since I have mature skin. So stay tuned for that updated video. It is coming soon. I love this product. I do love it. I think it's great. Um, it does keep my lips more, um, hydrated and moisturized so I'm not reaching for lip balms constantly like I was before that product. I love it. <laughs> Especially what it's done for my lips to wear now. I can go back, oh, I got a hair, to wearing my lipstick and my favorite lip liners and I don't have to worry about them um, bleeding. So I have another lip product here. This is the Youthful Lip Replenisher. And by the way, if you're wondering if all these empties are from one month's use, no, they are not. <laughs> these I collected at the end of March. So this is end of March, April, and May empties. <laughs> so this is the Youthful Lip Replenisher from Revision. Now, I really love this. This is such a great product. Now, this is a really thick formula that is stiff and it's very sticky on the skin but it just like hugs your lips and locks all that moisture and hydration in there and it is plumping. So there is still some left in here. Now this, mine went bad. Um, I think I had it for like three months and it was three months, I think it was two months and it just went bad. So I stopped using it of course and I decided I'm not going to repurchase it because I don't think it should have gotten gone bad um, that quickly. So anyways, that's it. Um, so I have a bunch of Victoria Deanne Peptis here. I have Pepti Tone, Pepti Procol, Pepti Hyaluronic, Pepti Lift, Pepti Repair, Pepti Elastin, <laughs> Pepti Procol, Pepti Lift, Pepti Elastin and another Pepti Tone. And these are my mainstays for my skincare. So Victoria Deanne makes the most beautiful, effective peptides you will ever use. These are signaling peptides. 
Um, they all do individual things and signal the skin to do different things. If you've been following me for at least the last 10 months, you know how much I love Victoria Dan. These will always be in my routine. If you want a highly effective peptide that's actually gonna do what it says and continue to do, look into Victoria Dan Peptides. They're amazing. These peptides you can use with any of your skincare. These just go on first. And if you want to know more information about them, just go back to my videos. I show you how to apply them, how to use them, what I'm using with them, and how to get them. They do require a consultation before you can pick them up. You can pick them up online from Joella Milan, but you'll have to give her a call or send her an email. I have two of the Victoria Deanne Ultra Rejuvenators. So the Rejuvenators are an alternative to vitamin A. So when I started the um, Victoria Deanne, I gave up um, vitamin A in my skincare routine. So I'm no longer using a retinoid. I've been using their Rejuvenators. I started out with mild, worked my way to medium, and I've been using Ultra for months now. So these are rejuvenating peptides that help nourish and energize your skin and encourage um, cellular turnover, just like what a retinoid would do without any of the side effects and um, peeling or sensitivity that you um, get from the sun or just in general of the inflammation of your skin. So I love the rejuvenators. This is another product that I would rather use versus a retinoid because I see more difference in my skin with using these versus a retinoid. And then my last products here are the Victoria Deanne cleansers. I have their purifying cleanser and their balancing cleanser. So these are both gentle cleansers that any skin type can use. You have your balancing cleanser, which is a non-lathering cleanser. You just apply it to your skin, add some water, work it in, rinse it off or wipe off. Your purifying cleanser it has a gentle lather. It's still great for all skin types. These will not strip your skin. I would just say if you prefer a cleanser that lathers, then go with this one. If you don't like a lathering cleanser, then go with this. However, this just gently lathers, but I love these cleansers. These are my favorite cleansers. I love, love, love. I continue to purchase them and purchase them and purchase them. <laughs> so we made it. It's 47 minutes into this video. I'm finished. Yay. And I have to go because my husband is texting me right now that we have to go to our friend's house. We're going to friend's house for dinner. So here you go. Finally, a shorter video. I am sending you all so much love and light. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found that it was helpful. And I'll probably be doing an empties video maybe every two or three months. We'll see how my empties collect. Um, I kind of like doing them um, to when I get, you know, a decent amount, but we'll see if it's too much. I won't, I won't do a, another long video like this. I want to try to keep it around 30 minutes. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend, a beautiful week ahead. I'm sending you all so much love and light and give this video a like. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.